Hello folks, Mortuari here and welcome back to Soul Mask. And today I'm not playing uh, on the series server, I've actually joined my uh, community server. So this is the server where uh, me and some people from my community, some friends are playing together and we are building things, we are creating things and I thought for once it would be a good idea to every once in a while show you what the people here have, who should not have done that, have created. Okay, let's try, yes, not to die before the show begins. So today, uh, I think I will be taking you to my very first base on this server, and actually the first real base I made in this game. Am I almost there? Yes. So it is located, let me show you. So yeah, I did already a lot of exploring in here, a lot of going around, doing things. The very first base we had was actually one we built with Reto, which is up here. I might be bringing you there the next time I show something off, but my very first base was actually up here. And the reason for that, well, there wasn't really a big reason, but I, I built something with Reto here and we decided that maybe uh, since I'm, I'm more into building that I would probably move out a little bit further away from his base so he could expand his base and I could expand my base and that's what I did so I went around and traveled and I actually went to this lake and I thought this this looks pretty this looks beautiful but yeah I did settle there I wanted to explore a little bit more this was the first time I was playing uh, the game and getting that far into the game so I traveled up here and stumbled through some things arrived here and there were some big snakes here and crocodiles and whatnot but there is a rock formation up there and I thought it would be a good idea to build something on that rock formation so other people who are playing here uh, for example there is a base made by Kane up here Kane was building a uh, temple type deal up here then there is also a little iron camp outpost they are building cane and stavos up here and i have another huge base up here which i will be probably showing you in one of the next episodes i record on this reto meanwhile has a bigger base up here there is also stavos but stavos i don't think stavos is in the same uh, tribe as we are so i can't really see his uh, base on the map UK Granny Gamer is on here as well. I'm not really sure where she has been building uh, her base. And there is Koti, which, on, which is who is on the server as well. And he built a base somewhere, but I have no idea where. Uh, there are some campfires or bonfires all across the, the, the country, but that's probably because we, uh, at the start of the game, we built some uh, recruitment centers, let's call them like that, close to the Barbarian camps. And that's why you see another bonfire up here another bonfire up here and one up here this is probably the one where i spawned into the game i believe it is and i had to travel north because i had to find uh, clay at some point so i got to the water then reto found me and he showed me where his base is so what i will be doing now today is actually bring you guys to this little base it's uh, the very first solo base i built i will be trying to bring you guys in from the point where i started the build mm, wait have I seen these before? Oh yeah. Is there a scout here? No, there is no scout here. So I could probably just kill them. I like this skill. <laughs> I'm trying to unlock that on my character in my uh, play session, my uh, playthrough, the other one. That's... I didn't get that far yet. So let's go down here. I believe I should be able to reach the water. I will be making a little detour because I don't want you to see the the mess I ended up. But I will show it in the in the video. But uh, as we all know, what you stupid, stupid crocodile. So yeah, um, as I was trying to tell you, you all know how things go. You build something and it quickly becomes too small. So you need to expand, you build a second building, and then after a while you notice that you don't have enough room again, and you want to expand on uh, the whole section you have already built. And yeah, it turns out to be ugly, and that's also one of the main reasons why I tried to move away from this spot, because uh, although my initial idea was build on the rocks, it will be safe there, and uh, the barbarians won't be able to get to you that easily, I did get two or three invasions and I did get two of my people be captured. So the, the barbarians took them away to their base and I had to go 
rescue them before they got sacrificed. Okay, so this is uh, the area where I built. There is a crocodile on here. There is two anacondas further. Oh, he did get me. Is he fast enough? Wait, maybe I should bring this over. Okay, let's get the anacondas. There is two of them here. They can be hard, quite hard at early levels. Oh, he still got me. Oh, two of them? Great. I don't think I will be in big, big prob but problems. Oh, come on, get loose. They will kill me. Get away, get away. If the other one grabs me, I might have serious troubles. Of course, I put my weapons away, that's why. Oh, the other one got me now. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm, uh, I suck at this game. I'm crap. The other one is grabbing something, I don't know what. Oh, he caught me nicely there. I need to get out of this. I will die. Like, oh, they make you put away your weapons. Is that a thing? Where's the other one? You dead? Oh yeah, okay. I never noticed that they uh, make you put away your weapons when you, they grab you. Don't know why, but I didn't notice that before. Okay, so this is the area where I built and but let me show you why because I thought the view actually I wanted to build on top of there but it was a little <laughs> it was nice but then I noticed this rock and I thought why not go up there and build up there there is clay in the area I mean we are close to some resources there is clay everywhere here the copper wasn't too far of course the uh, the tin is a little bit further up but yeah I, I I could live with that. So in the beginning, let me show you what I did. I didn't build these. I just climbed up all the time. But after a while, I was getting bored of climbing. And I did put up some stairs. So this is the initial building I have. This one here, not that one. Uh, this was the initial building I placed. And um, yeah, let's go inside really quick. Let me also drop off some stuff for them. Uh, and not sure oh they still have quite a lot of food i thought they were uh, running out of food so i brought some uh, wait where did i put it did i forget it yeah they have quinoa perch i will be putting some cigars in there although they still have a lot of cigars i thought i brought more meat like half of this They can have like that, but they should have enough food, actually. I thought they didn't because one of them, Mrs. Sharon, was again not so happy anymore. So where is she? Where is Sharon? She's there. Let's give her a cigar. Do you have cigars on you? Uh, where did I put my cigars? Did I drop them off? Yeah, probably I did. That's silly. Uh, you, half of them. Yes, get them on me, then give some to Sharon if I can find her again. Farmer. Sharon, here, sit down, have a cigar, enjoy it. But she has cigars. Am I growing blind now? Yeah, she's, she has the red egg icon again because she has cigars. Okay, let's show you around. So I made this little dining area here in the center. Uh, first, before everything else, my bonfire was up here. But then they always ran outside to sit at the bonfire, which I found very annoying. So I then built this section and I moved my bonfire up there. So there is a little section here for dining. There are all the crafting stations up here, like uh, the pottery table, the uh, wood cut, uh, wood cutter. The, uh, this is the tank for brewing stuff. This is for cutting up the meat and making leather. The carpenter's bench, the um, builders or construction thingy. 
the repair thingy, the loom, I have some things for making food, I have some things for drying food, I have a little bit of everything here, I have a lot of storage, as you can see, some is still wooden, some has been upgraded, some hasn't been upgraded, and upstairs I actually had a few more levels, and I kind of like this idea of not having too many walls to let the light in, and what I did is I used double doors and placed fences in them. Uh, this is not a base build which is suitable for a PvP server, not at all, because they, they can break this pretty fast and yeah, they can get in everywhere, I have left everything open. This, uh, there isn't really anything here, but I thought if I need more room to actually put down some crafting benches, I have room up here. And the top I kind of started uh, building some beds and then the idea was to make, oh, someone is sleeping here. The idea was actually to make this like some bedrooms and do some decorations. I didn't do that much decoration stuff yet. But yeah, I, I kind of left this area and went to another spot. And kind of started neglecting this. Well, I set everything up so they can still cook some meat and stuff like that. And before uh, I moved up, this section didn't exist. So everything past this point didn't exist. And I thought it was a nice view on the plateau and everything in the area so i kind of like that but yeah then i got into uh, melting what is it melting um copper and iron and i thought well, why i didn't really like having those upstairs because it looked ugly so I, I didn't have any room so i thought well i need a new structure and i added this one similar principle made it two walls high instead of putting up walls i put up uh, double doors with some fences in them i put the new campfire in here uh, the bonfire i had two of those and i know it's cramped here now because this was first at the top floor and they didn't use it same with the the bathtub i have no idea why but in here i have everything related to uh, metalworking so i have my armor crafter my weapon crafter i have boxes for everything i have my kilns I have the, what's it called, the uh, stone thingy here, furnaces and stone kiln I have up here. And up top what I did was I actually, before I had this decorated as a uh, living space. So I had a dining table up here and some uh, benches and stuff like that, but they didn't really use it. And up here, same thing, I had a dining table in here and some more stuff. And I had actually at the very top, I had my campfire here, my bonfire. But for some reason, they didn't really use it. I had two bonfires. I had one here and one downstairs. They always went uh, to the one downstairs. So yeah, I don't know what 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 they, the logic is there. I thought they would go to the, the, the best bonfire, but they don't. Uh, I don't know why. So yeah, that's here. Let me show you from a distance how this looks. So the rightmost one is the first structure. Ooh, there is a mistake up, up there. And this one is the second structure. Let me try to get on top of one of them. So we might have a better view on what the other looks like. Um, yeah, but in the end, I decided to move out of here. Um, once you reach the iron and whatever, the bronze area. So yeah, this section is the bedroom section. As you can see, it's all double doors with uh, fences inside. Let's try to get on the top of everything but this is all has all been built before i was actually doing any farming and stuff so yeah that's the view on the other building the second building it's similar to this one a uh, similar layout I oh i did add those fences up there ah, looks nice i was kind of hoping i could use the fences to uh, actually put them diagonally up here and maybe on top of this because I did that in Arc Ascended and I was able to actually make some nice decoration with that. If you put fences up here for example and you put one diagonal fence up here and one diagonal fence up there which is pointing out you kind of create a, a Viking look but I was unable to do that yet. I hope they will change a few things with the, uh, the building system here because that would be amazing if I could have that. So yeah you can see up there is the top section of that build. This is four levels i believe one two three four levels it's turning out to be unused by now but back then i didn't know that i would have to move out uh, to get closer to resources so yeah this is uh, the build i did make and then i got into farming 
which meant I had to add some farming plots, but uh, I don't really have any room here. Uh, this is all the fertilizer things and the farming plots. I added a turkey pen, but I didn't really have room to do anything else. I could put up some more stuff up here. And, and yeah, it, it was getting very, very, very cramped. And yeah, I had to expand. For, yeah, I needed room. I needed room. <laughs> if you know me, I need room. I don't do things small. So that's when I decided, why not... Uh, build something down there, extend to the bottom part. Well, actually, first I wanted to build something there on that island, but then I thought, yeah, it, it has to match up with everything. And if you watch the streams, watch back the streams because I am streaming this on on Twitch and YouTube as well. There should be thoughts on the YouTube channel or, or on the Twitch stream. You probably know that I, I did this section, redid this four or five times before I was happy with the result. First thing I did was I built a big staircase going down which looked very monotonous and I didn't like it. Then I built two stairs on the side going down and it was a little bit better but I didn't like it. And then I started experimenting with this the staircase going down a little bit like that and then going back down again and then going back to the center and this gives it a little bit of a, a, a more an aesthetic which fits the game a little bit more, in my opinion. So yeah, it looks a little bit like a, a step pyramid and you will know later on if I do another episode from the other build, you will know why I like this type of deal. So my idea was then to actually have this being a water section. I kind of hope they add some uh, water, uh, how should I explain it, some boats to the game some kayaks or whatever to travel over the water because that was my idea having some uh, this section fenced off or, or put up some walls because i didn't finish it it looks ugly, ugly now and yeah that's that should be the docking area for the boats and then up here i actually did do a lot of building so i i made this another section to have room for doing stuff i didn't finish it of course because i moved out but the idea was to actually finish this off and maybe have some crafting station spot in here. But since I moved to another spot, it isn't getting used at all. So then there's this section, which again has a little platform in here, which is a little bit more cramped, but still it has room to place things. I can do things in here, should be possible. And yeah, then you go up to the next section where there is the other build. And uh, yeah, that's how, how I did it. It's too bad you can't really um, take any good screenshots or, or, or like fly throughs or whatever. I think Sovereign RPG, if you haven't checked his channel, uh, go ahead. He is a great builder, great gamer, great player. He, I think he has unlocked the, the mask which makes you invisible or something like that. So he, he records something like that where he flies through his game, through the base to the base. And, and yeah, I should try to do that as well at some point. But anyway, this is no longer getting used. So there is uh, permanently four or five people here and those are actually set up to do some uh, automated crafting. Like for example, they will be cutting the meat down if I put it in here. Uh, e G, there you go. There will be premium, the fresh meat I will put in this box so that they can use that as well. The premium meat I will be bringing back home but the fresh meat I will be bringing with me. So there is some automation set up in here where they will be making some broth and stuff like that. There should be some automation on these two. Oh no, they are still making, but there is no resources for that, okay? I will have to bring some resource, resources at some point. I think this is automated too. Yes, perfect. And this should be set up automated as well. Wait, why is this no gray and can I not change this? Miss call? Why aren't you making that? There should be enough. You know what? I will set this up and let them make 300 so at least they have something to drink. And this one, tequila, sure, make them some tequila. Maybe they will still stay happier a little bit longer. So yeah, that's uh, an example of a build. Uh, it started out as a smart square, thing, square thingy and then I added some rectangle, uh, some triangles and stuff to expand it a little bit. And yeah, that's how it grew. And I think it turns out quite okay, quite nicely. I like uh, the idea. It's too bad that it isn't being used all that much anymore. 
I didn't cut down, well, I did cut down the trees at some point, but they grew back and I kind of like it. I, I, I like the atmosphere, it gives, it gives a little bit of a jungle feel to the whole build actually. So yeah, that's a one of the builds here on this server. Um, if you want, you should be able to join the server as well, join the Discord. There is uh, links in the description on how to get on my Discord and you should be able to join the server. I think we have uh, currently six or seven players playing here uh, every once in a while and there is room for more. And if you're a great builder, then feel free to join in. Some spaces might already be taken, taken but you should be able to find room for a build. And if you have a bonfire from another player blocking you, then just throw them a message and they will be happy to remove it for you so yeah as you can see she's getting tired i'm getting tired this will be it for today if you want to see more episodes like this on builds people have made up here let me know and i will check with them if they uh, will allow me well, to put it on the youtube and if not i will be doing one more episode for sure on this and that's on my big build i have at the lake but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give me a little thumbs up. Post a little comment in the comment section below on how you would expand this build or make it look even better. All tips and tricks are welcome. So that's going to be it for today. And I hope to see you, on, uh, you all in the next one. And until then, have fun and stay safe. Bye bye, everyone.